um, aerial game. There's a lot of times where he was above me so he could get this down air spike. Sometimes I could have up beat those. Either got a spike or if it was low percent, get a side B combo or something off of that. Moving on the next set, we got Unique versus Geo And ready up game. You can come on down. You can buy games, sell games, trade in your games, or just play games for free. We got PCs, we got old Xboxes, we got the classes here. We will whatever you need. Come on down to Marion Mall. Hang out at Ready Up, right across from the movie. Three, hey, maybe two, when you're done watching the movie, one, come over here go. and have a good time with a great full potential. We're moving on to the next match. We got Sheik versus Falco. Love. These two players play fairly similarly. Very passive aggressive. They know when to back off. They know when to be in the face. Very big punish, and they really are great at capitalizing on edge guard. Especially advantage state. Falco specifically really, really good at aerial advantage state, but, but Unique has the same thing. You can't discount Unique because his advantage state is just as crazy. Exactly. But we just need to see here. Does Falco have the kill power that it takes to kill Sneak? And is Unique going to get off the combos that he needs to kill off Falco? It seems like it's really even to Very even. Percent. No one's been in a real disadvantage here. Oh, right. now the up smash. Threatening with an up smash and he's just jumping. Like I said, that this his aerial game is so good. Put him up over 30%, which is a very good lead when it comes to being ahead of Sheik. You give Unique a chance of him to bring it back. Oh yeah. Even him right back out. The reason his name is Unique. You know there's not a lot of Sheik players, but Huh? Huh? Yeah. See, and we're only a 10% difference. That doesn't matter in the context for these two characters. Oh yeah, they're both in kill range. More so on Falco's side. Falco can definitely kill Sheik a little easier. Good little combo, and you get to stop. There we go. Up smash, got him out of there. 99% rage almost on the board. He's threatening to kill off the top now. He just really well in these low percentage combos as well, so I feel like we're going to get another about 40 or so percent before we see Falco out of there now. Ate my words. Ate my words, because Unique... Because Unique is a unique fighter. Unique fella. Yes, sir. Slippery, both of them. Both really slippery characters. I'd say you need a bit more slippery of the two of them, but Very true. that's not to discredit God. Capitalizes on some of the slipperiness. Absolutely. <laughs> Give Gog an opening, he goes to town. You give Unique an opening, he goes to town. He skips the cutscene, he shuts down Gog shenanigans, he gets back onto the ground. He's trying to work, trying to get a little opening, trying to get a nice clean hit, trying to get something going. Gog's not letting him go. Oh, another up smash to take the kill. The up smashes are proven to be very good in this matchup. Ladies and gentlemen, hide your kids, hide your wife, Gog is here to steal your stocks today. <laughs> Stuff. He sees 100%, it's off, it's 100% off. And Gog's store today. One green flying fish. Boom. That's turkey in the oven. It's last stock, first hit situation, it's even right back up. It's still even again. The set started the same way that it's ending the same way that it started. And it feels like a game five. Both players are playing their little hearts out. Look at that. No, this is losers final. Oh, this is losers final. Yes, sir. All right, so we gotta see which one of them is gonna jump back up to losers. Yeah. 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 
position. Here we go. Unique takes the first game. Unique takes the first game. We won without someone dethroning God, but can he keep up the work? It's not going to be an easy task, I can tell you that. It's a mountain to climb, but Unique is ready for the challenge. So now fans today, what way is the, uh, uh, are, our competitors going to eke out an advantage? Um, I imagine Sheik won something like Town and City. Actually, that might be bad because of small blast zones. Maybe something with bigger blast zones. Smashville, very good, very good option. Yeah, it's proving to be the the person that can get that last hit each stock. That's really what's been proving it. Yeah, it's very even up until a stock gets lost. Very fun watch. You don't see many Falcos or Sheiks. So it's a very fun game to watch. The great part about it is a really unique character that you don't see every day. It's a really like the thing about these tournaments over at Red Hat. It's either the Joker or you get the coolest <laughs> thing ever. You know, like seeing a Falco combo, seeing a sheep pop off, it's a beautiful sight to see. Which is why you should come on down to Red <laughs> 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 and we have a small lead from GLG. Uh, but Unique is doing his best to try to even things right back up. Both of them have very high jumps too, so it's pretty possible for them to fight really yeah, high up and boom. Yeah, it's entirely possible. That, that the up smash. High ceiling blast zone doesn't really matter too much. Sure. Yeah, I think Falco has the highest double jump in the game. Absolutely. But you know, she's moving. She's not it's, it's slipping further and further. Very good spacing on these smash attacks. Those up smashes, always hitting and responds with his own. 101%. <laughs> Almost at zero percent on both. Nonsense. That's what he's charged for. That's cheap that we're talking about. Bloody hair. Man, again, no spacing on those smash attacks. Getting big damage. Absolutely. You just see him uh, using some of the weirdest moves to try to get a clean of a dead thing as he can do. Alpha Shine. When was the last time you ever saw a Falco Shine? And it wasn't a reflector. <laughs> Tilde. Not the only person. Probably today. GOG is a pioneer in Falco attack, everybody. Oh, Boom. Man. Almost Evens up the stocks, but 97% on Sheik. He's really got to watch himself at the edge of the blast zones. Those smash attacks. the game short with this. Clean, right Evens up the score between both players. This can really just go either way. This is probably going to be one of the most heated games that we've oh, had really? this entire <laughs> tourney. It's going to be amazing to watch. Go, Logan. What's going on? Keeping on these beautiful characters, we love, we love to see these two specialists. Uh, I could watch this all day, honestly. Watch it all day. But then I we still go got Frosty. Right, we can go right across the way, <laughs> go to the main movie theater, grab some popcorn, and come back over to Ready Up. Well, maybe next turn we got a host in one of the theaters. Oh, we could absolutely <laughs> do that. Just have a beautiful audience watching but some of these most magnificent fights that Ready Up can offer. And I see here that uh, GOG has got a decent lead. He's getting so much better about eking out these reducible burns. Okay. You know, you give him an opportunity. He will win. 
Very true. It seems like he knows what option he's gonna go for, but he's delaying it until Cheek makes an option. He's trying to read three steps ahead. I wonder if he's a master chess player or something. Has to be. Has to, has to be a man of many talents to be playing like this. Honestly, you have to have life experience, especially with Falco, one of two Falco players in the world. Yeah, the only other Falco player. <laughs> I don't know what he's up to. He's probably out in the wilderness singing to the birds or something. <laughs> you know, we got GOG here uh, showing us what Falco is mm. capable of. It's like he's got something but nothing to prove at the same time. He's just here to play. He's here to do something. Today. He's to kill me again at 150%. Yeah, one one really good hit. One of those signature smash attacks he's been hitting is Woo! Spot dodged. Almost killed off the top. Oh, down tilt? This chair reloads. GOG might have to stop here. Evened it right up. Evens it right back up. That's the beautiful thing about this matchup. It's going to be 50-50 either way. Really, just down to the wire. Last stock. Who can really capitalize last stock? Who gets... Who's adapted to their player more? This is going to be the most nail-biting match. It's probably the most nail-biting match that we've had in the entire tournament. I am crazy about how the next matchup with Frost is going to go. And Frosty's had his, had his rest time. It's either going to help or hurt him at this point. Whoever wins this match has been warmed up for a few games yeah, now. Yeah, are going to be ready to go. Because at the same time, Frosty only needs three wins. They need six. They need the bracket reset, so... I think these players can do it. These are capable players. They can absolutely find the bracket reset. Just, uh, just need to hope and pray that for all three of these fighters, whoever gets where in uh, bring their A game to be um, Ooh, wow. Big back air with a two stock lead on that one. <laughs> Don't let the youngest one in the entire building <laughs> bully you. Just imagine how insane two to two final game. Very possible. Finals destination. Ganon did. I would watch Fox vs. Falco. FD for the for the good old days. But you can't give GOG Falco or he'll just run. <laughs> yeah, you have no idea how good Unique's force is. You're gonna have to switch it up to try to make it easier. So we are on game number four of Unique versus GOG. We are on small battle field once again. Same old characters, same old matchup. It's gonna be a good time. Keeping things nice and even, like how you spread butter on your toast. <laughs> I feel like GOG's feeling pretty good right now. Up. Both are really waiting longer to swing. They're both really noticing how the other plays in and out of hit. Up smash, I'm telling you that up smash is lethal. Same with that up smash, but if it was, yeah, if it was closer to the ledge, I'm sure that would have killed. Him. Yeah. 
Yeah, playing really well on platform as well. Dodging any aerials, really waiting for Cheek to make a move. Thanks. Somewhat an advantage to the opposite player. Wow. Maximizing it here. And comes in with the M spiking unique down to the bottom blast zone. GOG starting to just look like GG's right now. Absolutely. But Unique will fight back. I've Gotta, gotta give it to him. I've never really seen many Falco players play this well. Other than I mean, Tilde. I haven't really seen many Falco players. <laughs> yeah. Remember, there's only two of them. <laughs> Alright, and we're seeing, uh, we're seeing he's, he's, he's scaring Unique with some of his F smashes, but he is undaunted. He's trying to go for the same old Sheik stuff. You gotta hope that it works out for him. Ooh, and big uh, back air. Seals the deal, Seals brings GOG, brings him to Grand Finals. Had enough already. GOG uh, reset the bracket and take the win for tonight's tourney, or is Frosty going to take it all in three sets flat?